right, August uh, 28. We are minutes away from uh, getting on our, our trip, <laughs> another expedition, this time into Moab. I uh, don't have any particular plan, we're just going to drive down there and, uh, and um, just see once we get there exactly what, where we're going to go. Planning to spend about, um, I don't know, close to a week. But Mitch is getting the tires checked. And so we went. We had uh, over 550 miles uh, to go to Moab uh, from central Wyoming down south to Colorado and then. Uh, west to Utah. Now Wyoming generally is very dry, arid part of the country and, uh, and this time of the year it's really brown and yellow and brown. But as uh, we were progressing down south everything was getting greener and greener. Just a great drive, beautiful country. But uh, before going straight to Moab, I needed to stop by in Grand Junction, Colorado and uh, visit two buddies of mine that I knew back from Florida. We haven't seen each other for over 10 years, so there was a lot of catching up to do. And uh, so we finally rolled in uh, probably around 5 or 6 in the afternoon. Uh, one of the buddies of mine, um, by the way, they moved out there about the same time I'm, I uh, left Florida. Uh, so uh, he opened up uh, um, a restaurant called Enzo's um, Pizzeria and uh, Italian Cafe. Uh, highly recommend anyone Grand Junction, uh, a great uh, cuisine, very... Uh, very good food and uh, just great atmosphere and so after uh, probably it was already uh, after midnight when we finally said goodbyes and uh, uh, got on the road again decided against staying in the hotel and uh, decided to go to just to drive uh, and meet the sunrise in, in Moab uh, we, we did stop at um, a rest area and uh, got a couple of a uh, couple of hours of sleep, but uh, in Grand Junction we just uh, got some fuel on board and moved on west. All right, so it's. Uh Let's see, oh, my brain is not really functioning right now. We crossed the Utah border, it's 4 o'clock in the morning of the next day. I guess today is the 28th, Thursday. And um, I got a couple of hours of sleep. And so here comes Moab in the early hours of the morning. Now, for those who are not exactly uh, don't exactly know what Moab is all about, uh, for four wheelers, uh, people who like to drive off road, um, I don't know what to compare it to. Uh, well, it would be the same thing as. Uh, Disney World World for the little kid. It's one of the famous des destinations uh, that uh, any um, anyone who enjoys four-wheeling, uh, off-roading, should visit it once in a lifetime. Just a very very beautiful, uh, beautiful place, and uh, has been wheeled for years and years. It's becoming more and more organized and uh, bureaucratized. 
in my mind, but it's still a great place to visit. But uh, let me just uh, get quiet for a little bit so anyone who is watching this video can uh, enjoy the scenery. So we're moving uh, towards the Chicken Run Trail and uh, because from my information that I have, have gathered it was the only place where you can find, uh, where you can uh, uh, camp in the wild, uh, not in organized uh, campsites and stuff. I personally cannot stand those uh, and it took us... Um, uh, I think it was over 14 miles from town where we finally got to the place where a wild camping um, is is allowed. In Wyoming we have very similar uh, terrain um, except it's not on the same scale. Everything is scaled down in Wyoming. Down there in, in Utah those cliffs and everything else is just just grandiose beautiful beautiful country i would recommend anyone who likes adventures and uh likes uh, to see the nature the way god have created it uh, to visit now this uh a wall in front of us um, just to the right of it between in, in sort of a saddle that's where the hooray pass is and we had to climb to that pass in order to get on the, uh, on the other side of this of this uh, chain here um, and there you can uh, uh, break down the camp and, and find a place uh, to, to camp
Of course, it was really impressive for us, uh, especially seeing it for the first time uh, early in the morning when the sun just uh, getting up. After a week being there, we kind of got used to the sights. It was still impressive, but those first moments uh, were really, really memorable. Here we got to the Hurray Pass, and the view that opened up was just breathtaking. And with the Colorado River um, snaking through the, this valley, um, it, it was just, I mean, just even watching it now on the video, uh, re-watching it, it's still kind of... Uh, uh, takes your breath breath away and the whole beauty but we had to from hooray pass we had to come down to that valley uh, almost to Colorado River as a matter of fact we we, uh, we did uh, break down the the camp um, just about a hundred yards away from the river I was uh, so impressed by by the uh, the whole experience driving through that country that I completely forgot to air down my tires. Uh, so the rough was kind of, uh, I mean, the ride was kind of rough. <clears throat> but um, nevertheless, uh, those memories will stay with all of us for, for many, many years to come.
All right, so we are in location in Moab, Utah. Found the campsite, which is sort of a challenge out here because it's mostly organized camping, something that we really don't care for. So our first day in Moab was winding down, drained under all the impressive sights of the day tired, hungry, it was time to get something to eat and uh, with the sundown get some rest because uh, a full week of uh, wheeling in the Moab was ahead of us. Until the next video, bye bye.